Okay, so in this video, we're going to be showing you how to deal with text, dates, and times, integers, and floats. As usual, it's going to be very simple. We're going to deal with the simplest things first. Let's say, for example, you have a simple file like this one that only has integer primary keys in it. So previously I showed you guys how to delete a file. And I also showed you guys what happens when you hit save. This time around I'm going to show you what happens when you hit revert. We deleted three, three fields earlier. And this time you're going to see when you hit revert, everything is going to come back. You can see everything came back here. And now I'm going to show you how every cell knows exactly how wide they should be. So everything is auto-calculating. Let's say, for example, you have a table like this one with two rows of information. You notice how when we went from one row of information to two rows of information, it was able to automatically calculate its own size. Now notice what's going to happen when you have a large amount of text, of large amount of text like this one, it automatically takes up the whole screen, but unlike some of the other application that might make it go off the screen, I try to keep everything on the screen, so if you want to see everything that's here, you're going to have to click on it and then you'll be able to see everything that's in here, and you'll be able to this is another thing I want to point out here. You see how everything is reacting. Everything is color coordinated. And notice what's going to happen when I delete this line of text. Then it automatically recalculate the size and then when I bring it back it automatically comes back and then when we hit new it's gonna be the same as before just hit the new add field and then first name let's call it David create record so it's pretty simple and then integers and floats are pretty much the same thing so let's do test so that's pretty much everybody knows what an integer is and everybody knows what a double is, so there's no fun dwelling here. 29, say 30.5, 30.57. So, really, nothing too amazing here. Want to do incremental saves, or you can do one big save when you're finished. I mean, that is uh, entirely up to you. But if you exit without saving, the database will automatically revert back to the last save. Now we're going to deal with uh, date and time. And this is when it's, it's going to start getting interesting. Let's say, for example, you're dealing with a game like Assassin's Creed. 
or if you're dealing with a game like Grand Theft Auto, or if you're dealing with a game like Heavy Rain, where you have a lot of dates and a lot of times, so you, so you need a mechanism to keep track of all these things. At the present moment, Unity doesn't have a native way of dealing with that. So we address that problem here. So now let's see what happens here. New record. Notice what happens here. You get all these default drop downs so that you can add a date. So let's say, for example, we want to add today, which is 04. Let's see. Today is the 14th. Then you want to add 2011, and that's AD. So we can go ahead and add that. And you can see the date is formatted correctly, and it's telling us that we're dealing with a date that's specifically designed for Unity. Let's say, for example, you're adding the time. So you can add 6.30 p.m. Add the field. You can see time. So this time also is specifically designed for Unity. And as you can see, it supports both AD and BC. It supports both AM and PM. So you'll never be lost for time. And editing the time is just as simple. So you just click on a time and it automatically comes up. And then you can change it. Say you want to change it to like 10 25 and 10 13 seconds so we can go ahead and update that and it will take care of that we do the same thing for the date it's just as easy to format the date, change it to something in the future that hasn't happened yet, update, or we can go all the way to the past, 3, 12, Zero seven hundred twenty BC. So, as you guys can see, we have total control over the date and total control over the time. Now we're going to give another example here. Texture 3Ds. Every character has a starting position, rotation, and scale. Let's say, for example, you've conceptualized your game, but you haven't done anything yet. And let's say, for example, you have iTween. I know many of you are familiar with iTween. So you say you want to start here, here, and here. That's the position, rotation, and scale. And everything is 3D. So we can see 10x, 25y, negative 15, z. And if we're adding a new record, I mean, it's just as simple to add a new one. So we can add something like zero, 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 position, and 
and then can add right here we can make this one 20 and this one negative 5 rotation and then the last one is the scale we want to keep the increase it double the double everything and creating it is just as simple and when you finish you just hit exit